Mike Hoy discovered teaching at the age of 39 and has already accomplished many amazing initiatives in his career of 10 years. The thoughts of his students, colleagues, and his community suggest he is living his dreams as a teacher and more importantly, helping his students discover their dreams. My first impression of him was just his overwhelming command of the classroom. It was really incredible just the, the respect that he gained from the students, even on the first day. He made us feel responsible about our own education. He is truly a master teacher. If you want to have an impact, if there's some compelling driving force in your life that says, I need to make a difference, what better place? Every child that you come in contact with has infinite potential. Just the right encouragement, the pat on the shoulder, or the nice job, or the little note on the top of the paper, hey, great job, or the note on the top of the paper, gee, I was, I was surprised what happened. He is chairman of Neshaminy High School Science Department, where he teaches both gifted and challenged students to respect and embrace their dreams. He nurtures students. He cares about students. Education and teaching is a passion for him, not a job. We're all striving for the same thing, and that is for the student to be the best they can possibly be. Huh? Getting there. Good. Michael has a variety of roles and hats he wears. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. I don't think that we could present all of our different curriculums in three-minute packages and have parents walk away with a a quality sense of or an understanding of what we're trying to do here. We do have a very uh, strong friendship and relationship. However, that won't stop Michael from saying, Mark, we're dear friends, but I need to advocate for my kids. At a recent assembly, the Milken Family Foundation notified Mike he had won a 2001 National Educator Award. The outstanding educator in this school who is the recipient is Michael Hoy. Not many people are willing at the age of 40 years old to turn around and say, I think I want to uh, get to know teenagers again. Newton did his best work when he was a college student or shortly after college. In other words, he wasn't a whole lot older than you. He had the inspiration and he had the guts to follow his, his dream and he came up with the basic laws of motion that we know today and we apply in everyday living. Einstein's greatest work was done when he was a very young man. He came up with the theory of relativity and general relativity before he was 30 years old. Oftentimes people get reputations and then they want to sit back on them or they're afraid to put them on the line. That's why I love being around young people. They're so willing to take a chance. He just comes home regularly and says, I can't believe they pay me to do this. Compassion, personal integrity, intensity, those are the characteristics of a quality educator in my mind. For your test, what, what kind of, of uh, questions do you like to ask the kids? I'm just trying to find that happy medium that I can work with. The test is a learning experience in my mind. Right. So uh, I always allow like 10% of the test to be new growth for students. Right, right. Um, Put a problem that they haven't really seen before on there, kind of. And stretches them. Every time I've gone to him for advice or some sort of counsel, I don't feel as if I've been led to his conclusion. I feel as if I've been guided to find my own. Every day, Mike shares with his students his commitment to the future, both in and out of the classroom. His school and personal life are filled with fascinating environmental initiatives. What I hope to accomplish through some of these efforts outside of the classroom is to make people more aware of the fragileness of the planet. Each and every one of us has a responsibility in taking care of that space that we all live in and share. To get students to think about other alternative resources, the Solar Car Project was developed. It's not necessarily an extension of the curriculum, it's an extension of what Mike believes. In the back of my mind, I'd always wanted to build a solar car. Yeah. But I know Murphy. <laughs> Mur Murphy's law reigns supreme. Mr. Hoy asked my friend um, and I to make a video for the Solar Car Club just to help the fundraising efforts. Michael, along with the students, went and found corporate resources to get substantial sums of money to fuel the students' ideas. I just want to spread the word about the viability of alternative ways of powering automobiles. Having a teacher like him makes you want to um, you know, give back just like he gave to you. It's great to have former teachers who are now friends and people that you can rely upon, people that you can turn to if you need any help in your life. They want to share with me what, what's going on in their life. They want to hear about what's going on in my life. And uh, 
and I'm just really thankful for those opportunities. It's just really special. And I want to introduce you to some, some of our alumni from the Solar Car Club here. Meeting some of the students who have worked in that project, you can see their eyes light up, and you know that something important is happening. I, I tell them when they graduate that um, they're not finished with me. Uh, once you're my student, you're always my student. When Low Milken announced my name as the winner of the Educator Award for 2001, I was overwhelmed. It's important to attract quality teachers just like Mike Coy into the profession for a very simple reason. Our children deserve no less. We need to celebrate teachers. We need to value teachers. Michael Hoy is one of hundreds of thousands of people that are making a difference in classroom. And I think we are blessed because we have a model in our district that exemplifies the best of teaching you could find. This is my fourth career. I was a late bloomer to education, but it is my true career. I have found exactly where I want to be. One of the first things that passed through my mind was all of the people that touched my life and the people that I've been fortunate to impact through my teaching. I just wanted every one of them to know about this so that they could all feel good about and feel their part in it. I think it's critical to attract the best and the brightest people into the teaching profession. That is where the future lies. They need to be nurtured. As a society, we need to invest our best resources to make sure that each one of those individuals has the best possible chance and the best possible life.